Welcome back to the Haven Homestead Podcast, where we learn and grow together on our way to living more sustainable lives. My name is Chris, and I am joined here by my wonderful life, wonderful wife, Lindsay. My wonderful life. <laughs> Happy anniversary, Chris. Thanks. Happy anniversary. Not our marriage anniversary, but our podcast anniversary. Yeah. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. It's one year of recording. It's pretty exciting. One year today. January 11th is one year recording. So this has been one year anniversary. And in that amount of time, we have 6,000. 252 listens. That's pretty awesome. 6,252 listens uh, for a total of 1,749 hours of total listening time. That means you listeners out there have listened to Chris's dulcet voice for almost 1,800 hours. Almost 1,800 hours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on Haven Homestead Radio. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much. It is awesome. Uh, the support that we've been given over this last year, and here we are, 45 episodes in. I'm still loving it. So that's, I think that's a success story. Yeah, and thanks to your patrons over at Patreon, you're you're recording with a new mic, and you know you already mentioned your new mic stand on your last episode. Yeah, I really like the sound of it too. Uh, Lindsay listened to the episode and said she thought that it sounded really nice. But now we have the Blue Yeti uh, microphone, and I really like it. It's got a micro or a headphones input in the back, so I can listen as I'm recording. And And I can hear if things are coming through that shouldn't be. Absolutely. And it's got the four different settings. The other one, he had a blue snowball before. It had three settings. And this one has an extra one. Well, and I think that the settings on the Yeti are a little more intuitive. Mm -hmm. Like, they kind of make more sense. The ones on the snowballs, one, two, or three. This one has, like, a picture. And then on the box, it explains clearly what the different settings would be used for. I really like this microphone. I think it sounds really nice too and then the arm puts it out here so that we're sitting next to each other and the microphone's in between us with the bi-directional pickup and uh it just means it's a lot better sound yeah it well in the it has one direction pointed at me and one pointed at you right so that we're getting you know and in the listener's ear it i believe it's they're hearing me in the left and you in the right ear like oh, like so we're cool. sitting yeah yeah so um that's kind of neat so today our topic is on what it means to be a havenite and the term havenite was coined by one of our first followers yeah mo- our longtime followers our follower gaz he was also a guest blogger mm-hmm. for a little while um you know, things just get busy in life. But uh, we put out a contest seeing who would like to name what the people, you know, the followers of Haven Homestead are. And we had several suggestions, and we liked Havenite the best. So that's what we went with, and Gaz won the prize of being the best. So he got to name all of our followers, and... Havenite is what you are now known as. If you are following Haven Homestead, you are a Havenite. We thought you ought to know what it means to be a Havenite yeah. if you're going to call yourself yeah, right. a Havenite. With pride. Yes. If you're going to call yourself a Havenite with, you know, pride. Absolutely. It was really weird hearing myself as I'm speaking in the microphone. It's kind of cool, actually. Good. Because I've got the headphones on. So yeah. it's really kind of cool, actually. Um, and I'm trying not to look over at the screen that has the sound going on because if I turn my head then it kind of I think it it definitely gets quieter so I try to keep aimed at the mic good idea see and I just did that and the sound totally went lower we have 10 things here and they're not in any particular order but these are just 10 things I think that 
a Havenite has, because Havenite is they have some things going for them that I would say the general public doesn't. So if you are a Havenite, you won. You're among the elite, I think. If you are a Havenite, you are among the elite. Right. And I, I say that with some pride that people that would follow us, I think, are just generally good people. But they're also people that are looking for something in life, a sustainability aspect, a more permanent aspect in their life that we really like. I mean, we can really understand and and support those type of people. So the first thing that I think a Havenite, an attribute that a Havenite has, is that they have a desire to do things for themselves. That's one of the things that my parents, I feel like, fostered in me was a desire to do things for myself. My dad always, you know, fixed our cars and... We chopped our own wood to heat our house and things that we did for ourselves we didn't have to pay someone else to do or I guess that's just, you know, someone, you don't have to pay someone to do it if you can do it yourself. And I think that that's really something that the Havenites do, especially with Lindsay's book, How to DIY Anything, getting into that mindset of being able to try something new is unique and not everybody can do it. Absolutely. Yeah, you have to be able to think for yourself and do things for yourself. If you're a Havenite, you either have those skills or you want them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So number two on our list is that you desire to live more sustainably. Chris mentioned a little bit earlier that Havenites have more a sense of permanence. I think that stability and permanence and longevity, those are things that Havenites would value. Uh, That's why you would listen to our podcast, so that you could get more uh, tips and tricks on how to live sustainably, or or you could hear uh, about certain skills that would make your life more sustainable. So Right, and I think that that is a very responsible way to live. Responsible to take care of and we're going to get into it a little bit later to take care of more than just yourself. You know, and yourself is, you know, you got to say put on your own oxygen mask before you can put on somebody else's, for instance. But it's not all about just you. It's about your community. It's about, you know, taking care of of other people as well. And anyhow, I think that that's um, a sustainable sort of thing, Commu- you know, co- a good, strong community is a sustainable community. So I interviewed Jeff Lott once on preparedness and permaculture and how the two um, meshed together. And he said something. I asked him, so what does preparedness have? Or I don't remember what the question was exactly, but he said, um, let's see. I, I asked him what it was like, how preparedness fit into his life. And uh, like being prepared for things, the future happening, and how did that fit into permaculture? How does preparedness fit into permaculture, basically? And he says, well, I don't know how to live any other way. I wouldn't want to live any other way. Uh, it, it just feels better, is better. You know what that sound means. Time for a word from our sponsors. Happy Leaf LEDs Anywhere, Anytime, Garden in a Box makes a great gift for the garden lover in your life. For just $65, you get one 4-inch LED grow light and USB power supply, the LED light suspension tools, a light timer, four plastic net pots, hydroponic clay pellet growing medium, hydroponic nutrients, and seeds. All you have to do is add mason jars and water. With their advanced LED grow light and easy passive hydroponic starter kit, anyone can master indoor gardening anywhere, anytime. Visit www.happyleafled.com today to get your kit. Don't forget to use the coupon code FRIEND in all caps for a 10% discount. One more thing, when you see the little Where Did You Hear From Us survey, let them know you heard about them on the Haven Homestead podcast. You'll be happy you did. I just found out that my microphone was on 
stereo and not bi-directional because when I was looking around the edge, I didn't have a very good view of the the symbols. And so I just changed it to bi-directional. So hopefully now you can hear Lindsay a little bit better because I was, I think that her voice, when I looked at the signature on the screen, the sound waves or whatever, they looked too small. And I was thinking, why is her... Voice, voice so smaller so quiet right uh compared to myself and so now it looks like it's about the same so um <laughs> earlier didn't i say that it, they're easy to follow it is easy to follow you just have to not be a total doofus like me so so uh, just in review we've had the first two items are a desire to do things for yourself and a desire to live more sustainably right uh, the third one, love of learning. I think being like listening to the podcast shows that you like to learn more things. Being a Havenite, I think that you and I can consider ourselves Havenites. We are the sure. original Havenites, the OHs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're the original Havenites. Totally. Yeah, totally. Um, so. Uh, and we both love learning. You and I are what I would classify as lifelong learners. And I think that uh, the folks that follow us qualify the same. Well, and the, the sign on and sign off, you know, mm-hmm. where we learn and grow together. I think that that's, I think that that's a very important thing to, you know, that we like to, that we want to learn and grow, grow through learning. And so... I think that's a important, important aspect of a of a havenite. Of being havenite. Of, of yeah. Um, go ahead, number four. Number four uh, on the list of what it means to be a havenite uh, is that you're humble enough to admit you don't know everything. Sorry, to admit you're humble enough to admit that you don't know everything. That's really important, it, it, especially if you are. A lifelong learner, like we were just talking about, if you really love learning, you have to be okay with being the dumbest person in the room sometimes. Well, I think you would have just stopped listening a while back because you're like, I didn't know all that. You know, and we're we're learning as we're going along. We haven't been, you know, we've only a few years into this, so we have still lots of things to learn, um, but we've learned a lot so far, and we want to pass that on to everybody else so that hopefully their learning curve can be a little shorter. You know, some things you need to just learn for yourself through trial and error. Um, The next one is that the people, the Havenites, they care about the earth. So I was talking about um, desire to live more sustainably. Um, You want to raise animals or vegetables or fruit in a way that will be there for generations. You know, you want to take care of the earth, of nature, of of uh, your natural world, so that it can take care of you and your kids and their kids. Yeah, that really fits into the sustainable life, too. Uh, I feel like if you're taking care of the earth, it's a way more sustainable way to live than just doing things conveniently or mm-hmm. cheaply mm-hmm. at the expense of of the environment or uh, things like that. What's kind of uh, interesting is since we've had woofers and other people here, when even people, our friends in town and stuff, we tell them that we only get our garbage picked up once a month and they're like, by the way, Look at us like, is that cr- that you're crazy? Yeah, we only get our garbage picked up once a month, and we don't have like a dumpster. We have just like a regular wheelie or whatever, you know, the the wheeled cart thing that normal people use. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's even the small one too, I think. So anyway, we try to uh, take care of the earth by not using, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle, which is actually one of the perma- permaculture principles. Is care of earth it is the three permaculture principles are uh people care earth care and return of surplus those are the ethics to the the ends of the first yes or ethics to the to the uh end of the first two right so the next one is 
The sixth item on our list is that Havenites care about people. Also, one of those permaculture ethics. Right, people care, other... earth care. Right. Uh, so, if you are a Havenite, you love the people around you that you surround yourself with and you really want the best for them as much as you want the best for yourself and i think that's an important aspect of being havenite and sustainability absolutely because when people understand that you are going to do something selflessly for them they're more likely to do things selflessly for you which love begets love absolutely. sort of situation absolutely uh the next one is that you probably have a poor sense of humor Oh, whatever. <laughs> I also put a, or finely tuned sense of humor. I think that's more likely. If you're laughing at my jokes, then... Then you're in good company because I laugh at his jokes. Yeah, then... You, you just, know, sometimes sometimes I laugh at your jokes because you think your jokes are funny. Yeah. You, <laughs> I laugh at you laughing. <laughs> and I get that look like, funny, right? And you're just like, then you laugh. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. You are wonderful. I'm sure more of our Havenites would agree. In fact, I'm going to ask you guys, if you like his jokes, tell him he really needs to hear it sometimes. <laughs> no, you don't have to feed my ego. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll just hear more of them. Oh, gee. This is a homesteading podcast, not a comedy one. Mm. Uh, number eight. Uh, it... <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay, this is hasn't, one of your jokes. Lindsay hasn't seen these yet so it's funny. <laughs> the eighth item on the list is that you are a good looking person if you are a havenite you're good looking you're obviously good looking at least on the inside right <laughs> <laughs> and then i put a little arrow on there it's a good looking at least on the inside and then you and put then an arrow, arrow back to, to the, the sense, sense of humor, humor. yeah <laughs> The ninth item on the list is that Havenites are always looking and moving forward. How come you stole mine? Because it's my uh, turn number again. Eight, I was number nine. Number eight was cheap. It was a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got more substance. Gotcha. <laughs> That's why I married you, because I like substance. Hey, I've lost seven pounds, okay? <laughs> Back off. Hey, I like food. Hey, you're, you're a six foot tall man. With broad shoulders and great arm muscles. Okay, I'm five foot tall. I'm very petite. You're substantial compared to me. I like substance. Anyways. You make you make things weird. Back to the show. Uh, so Havenites are always looking and moving forward. Yeah, so we were... I was talking to Amber, our current woofer, and I was asking her, you know, what are some good things? She's... She's kind of shy, so she doesn't want to be interviewed on the podcast. But I was asking, what are some things I could put in here for you know, qualities of a Havenite? And she's like, um, you're like motivated, or she's kind of like those sort of things. And I said, um, you know, I was trying to like put that into good words, but I don't know. So because I always say they're highly motivated people, it sounds kind of you know cheap. So we're trying to like make it sound a little bit better. Well, we are in, highly motivated people, list. but yeah, I think but that... Not, not all Havenites are highly motivated people. I think all Havenites are highly motivated people, but motivated in different ways. They're not like sure. all type and A personalities. The Havenites do not have to all be extroverts with super type A personalities. That doesn't mean... That's not what highly motivated no. means. I think motivated... That's, uh, that's why I didn't put it. Right. I think that motivated means <laughs> that you have... a you have a motivation that a strong desire or drive to do something oh, yeah, for yourself good. or for the earth or for your family. See, and if you were here, you could have helped me make the list, but that's all right. Hey. So, uh, I put, so I put always looking and moving forward. So always trying to better themselves or their situation in one way or another. Absolutely. And that's, I think a really important part of a Hey, and that's like our last episode on goals. Absolutely. I think that was, you know, Setting and achieving goals is a really important to moving forward. And then it last... It kind of reminds me, sorry, that last one kind of reminds me of Meet the Robinsons. Keep moving forward. I, don't, sorry. Yeah, yeah, Keep yeah, going. Yeah. And the last item the on the list... The very last one is the salt of the earth. And Lindsay... Havenites are the salt of the earth, okay? Yes. And Lindsay, you were saying that you looked that up because you said salt. You've heard it, but you hadn't... 
didn't know what it meant and so you looked it up well and... i really like definitions i really like words it's one of the reasons why i'm a writer so i really like definitions it helps me to really pinpoint the feeling and emotion and purpose for a word so or a phrase in this case and so i looked up what the definition of salt of the earth is i do this all the time chris and i always do on the way to anywhere we'll be like hey what does this word mean look up the definition and and it's really fun to test how awesome our vocabularies are but anyway my dulcet yes i said my dulcet voice yes we were looking it up because because i, I said it, it and he didn't know what it meant and it means sweet yes and low smooth and sweet like fake sugar doesn't mean low just smooth and sweet and your yeah, voice when I said is sweet i thought you know just throwing low on there sweet and low oh yeah like fake sugar oh oh i get it now. like aspartame that was really <laughs> chris used like to say aspartame aspartame, aspartame. like aspartame <laughs> And hey, then I had to correct it's him. It's phonetic, okay? As part of me. It is. Jeez, it, it really is. <laughs> uh, so Anyways, I think the salt of the people. Oh, yeah. you were Sorry. Say. Salt of the earth it means the that earth. if you are the salt of the earth, it means that you are basically and inherently good. That's what it means. Hmm. I kind of like uh, thought it was like a hardworking. The well, pe- that the is people a that basic you're like, inherent goodness. If you are a hard sure, worker, sure, you sure. have goodness in you. You want to work for something See, and I put in parentheses country people right because it's not just country as people you know who are salt of the earth though yes well uh, i know they keep i'm about to explain myself so people i usually say like if someone's a city person they typically don't know how to do anything for themselves and a country person knows how to do some things for themselves and i realize that there are country people in the city and city people in the country i mean we live in a pretty sparsely populated county in western washington and there are city people that live you know out in the middle right down the road sure and they just don't know how to do anything i mean they hire out for everything which is good for handymen and and contractors and stuff but there are a, a lot of country people out here too which i i really liked um when we moved out here and started getting to know people that start talking about raising rabbits and like oh yeah back when we raised rabbits we used to do this and and do that and do this and give me tips and tricks and stuff and oh i remember when you know i don't know whatever the the thing was that they were talking about but they have these old skills these sustainable country lore skills sort of things that Mm -hmm. really helps i think helps us become more sustainable and they're helping their community just by sharing their knowledge Absolutely. And I really appreciate that. So I think I count those the salt of the earth. Absolutely. So anyway, we are over time. Thank you for listening, Havenites. We really appreciate all of your efforts and all of the time that you spent with us. It's really, it really means a lot. It does. I really appreciate your, your support, your patience. Um, we started out with, you know, very cheap equipment. And now we've, I think, gone to better things. And I'm going to uh, just keep doing my best to deliver quality every time uh, with good good substance, good episodes, good good uh, topics. And I really could use your help in getting uh, more topics that you're interested in listening to. So please comment through the website after every episode on the website. That's probably the easiest way to do, to get a hold of us is go to havenhomestead.com forward slash podcast. Look in the podcast tab or put in forward slash podcast. And then behind an episode, it says comment on the bottom and you can comment on any one of the episodes. And uh, that would be, I think that'd be a really good way to get a hold of us. If you have anything you want to talk to us about. Also, uh, you can support us through Patreon. That is p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash haven homestead and if you have a someone who you think might be interested in in sponsoring the show um then they can get a hold of us through haven homestead dot com and uh, our sponsorships are are pretty cheap as long as they have a you know some product that helps you be more sustainable then you know we'll consider it so Lindsay, do you have anything else 
It does say. Well, don't forget to become a Havenite by following us, signing up for our newsletter. So following us on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or Instagram. Uh, Spreaker is where the podcast is hosted. So if you're listening on Spreaker, thank you so much for listening there. Um, but don't forget to go to havenhomestead.com and sign up for the newsletter. That's another way to be it, right. a follower. And you just changed it from quarterly to monthly, right? Yeah, I just changed the newsletter to monthly. So you'll be getting a monthly uh, play-by-play from Haven Homestead. Um, what we're doing, what the latest doing, episodes. And it'll be helpful. It'll be short. It'll be awesome. So Helpful, short, and awesome, just like you. Oh, thank you. And with that, this has been the Haven Homestead Podcast, where we learn and grow together on our way to living more sustainable lives. Thanks for listening. Yep, thanks for listening. Wait, wait. Let's say thanks for listening together. Thanks Thanks for for listening. listening.